Hello everyone, this is Rolo's Winter Bros, and we're going to show you in this uh, video segment uh, our new product, Phrase Maker, uh, with the prop set designed specifically for DAS Studio. And you can see here in the display, uh, we've written the, the word Phrase Maker out, words Phrase Maker out, so that you can see, and this is an unretouched right here inside the DAS Studio uh, viewport. Uh, we've used the props to make this uh, here. And we're going to begin by showing you... Uh, the features of Phrase Maker and what you can do with it. Uh, Phrase Maker was designed with 94 props to get you started. Uh, they'll show up here in the uh, content library under Props, then under Window Rows, and then under Phrase Maker. And we'll go down here and we'll, we'll show you the, uh, there includes the full English uh, alphabet. Uh, in lowercase and uppercase, which would be A through Z. And we'll scroll through here and show them to you. Uh, and to use those in your scene, all you have to do is just double click them and they'll show up in your scene. You can get the different letters in there, whatever you want to click, they'll show up in your scene. And in a few minutes, we'll show you the scripts that'll help you get these aligned up without having to do a lot of manual settings. It also includes a number set, 0 through 9. Uh, let me go ahead and just delete these out of the scene, and we'll show you a couple of those real quick. Uh, you just like saying, just double click on the thumbnail here under numbers, and you'll see that they'll show up in the scene. Okay, and it also includes a symbol set with uh, 32 symbols from the uh, English keyboard, uh, which you can combine to do some really cool things, or you can use for your phrases as you make them, spell them out. Uh, you can create single terms, words, or phrases with the Phrase Maker set. Uh, we'll go on now and we will show you some of the scripts that we've created to help you uh, work out your stuff in your uh, scenes and your animations. All right, we'll go ahead and go back here to the English uh, set and we'll go ahead and spell out a word for you. We're going to spell Aloha. So we'll just go in here and find the letters really quick. Scroll up and down. It uh, works pretty simple, pretty quick. You can spell words really fast. And we include a couple scripts to really help you out. Now you can see up here in the uh, Scene tab, we've got the words spelled out. Uh, a, L, O, H, and A. So let's go and we'll just go show you some of the scripts that we've created. Uh, if you select all those letters, we'll start here at the bottom. Uh, there's a step up and step down script, so you select the letters that you want affected, and you can you click the step up, and what will happen is it will arrange your letters in a, oh, excuse me, I picked step down, I apologize, uh, arranges them in a step down fashion. Uh, if you leave your characters and uh, still select it up there in the scene tab, run the step up script, it'll do it the opposite way, that they're stepping up. And then um, we have stack up and stack down. Uh, so what we'll do is uh, we'll have to we'll actually have to reload those. So let's go back and see if we can uh, we'll clear the scene. Uh, the stack up, stack down, use them straight up and down from where they're loaded. So we'll just use uh, we'll go ahead and spell Aloha again. We kind of like that. It's it's a it's a nice word, easy to find, really quick. We'll spell out Aloha again. We'll go back up here to the top in the Phrase Maker. Now you see the letters are all conglomerated here together. We'll go ahead and select them all again in the Scene tab. And if you'd wanted a, step a stack down or a stack up effect, you would select all your letters and you double click them. And you can see there that we've uh, it stacked them downwards beginning with A. But if you chose to use stack up, it would put the A at the bottom and stack the letters upward from the way you spelt it in the uh, Scene tab. So once again, we'll go ahead and clear that out. Oh, I could have used, uh, I could just delete letters. We'll just go to the new scene. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll spell Aloha one more time to show you probably the feature you'll use the most with this product. Uh, this script is going to be coming probably the most handy. And we'll just stick to Aloha because we like the way it works out for us. We're going to back up here. We'll go back up to the Phrase Maker folder, one level. And you'll see this align right and group characters. You're probably going to find those are the most used of the six scripts that are included with the set. Select all the characters up here in your scene and if we double click a line right you can see there that it uh, took and it spelled put them into the way we're used to seeing words left to right A-L-O-H-A 
spelled it out for us. And it does it in the order that they're actually going downward in the scene tab up here. Now, the last thing is you might want to do things uh, on the whole word at a time. So we got this script called Group Characters. And with those letters selected, if you double click it, you'll see now up here it's created a group called Aloha, which it actually does. It takes the first character out of each of the uh, items you have in your scene tab that you've selected to create the name for the group. And in this fashion, we can go ahead and minimize that so we don't see everything. We can do things to the whole group. Uh, if we go over here like to the parameters tab with the group selected. So seeing we can move the uh, we can move the whole group. We can rot do rotations on the whole group. And we can do scaling on the whole group. And if we go to the top, you can see we could actually if we wanted to, let's say, scale in the uh, if we didn't want the letters to be this thick as in the whole group, we could scale on the Z axis to narrow down the letters a bit so we can get a little bit thinner letters. So having the, you can work on each individual character or you can work on the group. Uh, if you want to select individual character like the, let's say we pick the L there and we want it to be shorter, we can, we can shrink it down or you could do a, a complete scaling. So you can affect individual letters uh, or the whole group at a time. So we created that uh, the group characters feature so that you could uh, group your words together and move them around in the scene. So we'll go ahead and move on and we'll show you some of the things you can do with the surfaces that are built into these character sets. Okay, we're starting here with a fresh scene. And we're going to go ahead and just spell our word here. We're going to spell hi, which would be the H-I. And we'll go ahead and use those two scripts we showed you earlier to uh, we'll go ahead and align them right. And then we're going to group them together. And we're going to go ahead and hide this for a moment on the right left. And we'll open up the over here. And we're going to show you what the kind of things you can do using the uh, surfaces. Uh, we'll go ahead and just select the H for now. And if you go into the in your panel to the surfaces tab, oops, I kind of minimized there. And you can see here there's H upper, which is this character here we just shown you. And you can affect any of the different uh parameters here for the uh, surfaces for that character. Now we've designed each character. If we expand this out for you, we'll show you there's an edge, a face, and a rear surface groups. And we did that so that you can create some different effects using the phrase master props. So what we're going to do, the face would be the actual front of the character. Uh, and of course the rear would be the back side of the character. And of course the edge would be everything that's in between the face and the rear. And we'll demonstrate that for you very quickly. What we'll do is we'll, you can, and, uh, you can color the whole character at once by just selecting the actual, the top value, H upper. And let's say we want to change the color of the complete character to like this orangish color. You can see there that the H is now completely orange. We'll go ahead and move over to the I character here to uh, do some demonstrations for some of the different things you can do. Uh, you can actually select one of the individual surface groups, like let's say the face, and you can go down to the opacity, and you could uh, change the opacity to zero, which would turn off the face, and you can see you can get a hollowed out effect where you can see through and the face isn't there. Uh, you could do the same. You could take the rear, change its opacity to zero, and you can actually see completely through the character. So depending on what your use is for these within your scene or your uh, animation, you can do it that way. And you could do just as well. Uh, let me go ahead and turn these back on. Uh, well, you can also do the same thing. You can take the edge and turn its opacity down to zero. And you'll see here now the eye, we have this, uh, this uh, front and back effect with nothing in between. And one of the nice things about that is if you went up to the, like the parameters tab, and you actually scaled it on the Z, you could bring those closer together. And then if you actually took, and we go back to the surface tab here, and let's say we take and give the uh, face, well, let's give the face like a light green color. And let's give the, the rear a dark blue. You can see how you can get a, uh, you can get a shadow effect. You can get different effects. And if you want to bring them even a little, little bit closer, uh, so that when you're in your scene, you can get two-tone effects and different things. Uh, we're going to go move on now. We're going to show you some of the uh, some scenes that we actually built using these. And there's no post work included, and we hope you'll enjoy that.
Hey, this is Rollo again. Now in this uh, video segment, we're going to show you the uh, five scenes that we created with DAS Studio 4.8. Uh, just remember now that these phrase vector props that we've loaded in the scenes, we might have adjusted the colors with the surfaces and made to, you know, arranged them with some of the scripts, but the, the actual scenes are unretouched. What you'll see is the live uh, scene as we load it into DAS Studio. Uh, we'll start at the, uh, the top here. We're going to show you this. Uh, we just created a factory scene, and as you can see, it just popped in. You can see here what we've done here is on the factory scene, we've actually put an address on the actual door. It will zoom in a little bit for you. You can see we put the address of 2443. We just picked a random number. Uh, actually, they're right on the door so that you could see it. Uh, it's part of the scene. It kind of makes it unique to what we're doing. If you had an address in mind for this building or any building or uh, or structure that you want to put a number on, uh, we'll also let me we'll zoom out a little bit. You'll also, if we scroll up here to the top, you'll see that on this factory up here on the chimney stack. Well, it looks like the top of the building actually. It's almost a chimney stack. Uh, we've spelled out Detroit Steel because uh, we wanted to make this. Uh, this building and the scene we were going to use it for uh, be a still manufacturing plant. Now it, it could have been whatever you want. You could put any name you want. And all we did was added the letters. We sized them up and colored them to fit the uh, the building a little more so that it actually uh, looked like it was a sign up there on the actual building. And if we zoom out you can see the complete picture. And we kind of like this one. Uh, we think that it worked out pretty good. Uh, you can use the um, the phrase maker props to do almost any kind of uh, numbering and text on any of on any props. So we'll go ahead and close this one down, and we will show you. We're going to move on to this box of explosives. Uh, we'll zoom into that. And on this box of explosives, what we done was we added some uh, letters to it. Uh, let me go ahead and add a couple of quick lights. Uh, so we can see what we've done. There you go. I'll just turn that one on. It's fine. And you can see on both sides of the box. You can see it over here on the right too. But we'll show you the front of the box here. You can see we've uh, put the words warning and explosives. Um, so that uh, it kind of made this box more unique to the scene we were going to use it in. Uh, you can put any, you can add, like I said, you can add text to any of your props to make them uh, unique uh, for whatever your scene or your animation is going to be. Uh, so the limits are just on what you can think. And we color these red and yellow. We want them to be different colors. Uh, and then we thin them down and we rotated them in the 3D space to match the box. And then we actually parented them to the box itself so that we can we'll move the box, everything moved together. Uh, so, all right, we'll go ahead and turn that one off. Let's go ahead and get rid of that light. We'll turn that one off. We're going to show you uh, a shop sign we did. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, zoom in on that, get the focus on that one. Okay, and here we got a, we loaded this prop, and we put our company name on it. You can see we put Winter Bros on it. Uh, if you see, uh, we kind of thinned out the letters so that they didn't poke through the back of the sign. But you could use the same thing on any kind of shop signs inside a, a, a scene. You could put it on the uh, shop, the glass that's on the front of a shop. Uh, you could put uh, different names on uh, street signs, uh, like for street names. Like if perhaps if you use the... Uh, street element set uh, available from DAS 3D. You can uh, put different street names on your scenes uh, to make them unique and individualized. Um, so it's just another example of what you can do. And here we colorized ours. Uh, we made it green to kind of kind of match the uh, color of that uh, shop sign there. Okay. Uh, we'll go over here. Uh, you can mix. We'll go ahead and turn this one on. Uh, you can mix and match your uh, you can mix and match the le letters uh, in the phrase maker set, any you know, of the props. You can mix and match them with the DAS characters. Uh, here you can see we've uh, loaded three girls, and we pose them to want this girl over here. She's sitting on the uh, top of the C and the E. Uh, we got this girl sitting right here on the top of the N, and this one's standing right next to it. Uh, you can mix and match these with different DAS figures and uh, characters, uh, and you can use them maybe if you wanted to make a... Uh, some uh, your, make a signature block that you put on your renders, or you want to spell out what kind of characters, you could put the names above them, uh, Genesis 3 female, or whatever you wanted to do. There's so many things you could do with this prop set uh, right within your scenes, and it eliminates a lot of the post work that's required later on. And the last thing we're going to show you is, uh, since we're heading up into the Christmas season now, we're going to show you our Christmas card scene that we made. Uh, we like it, and... Uh, 
of course we would. And you can see here we've put the words Merry Christmas in 2015 and we blended those right into this scene so that we could do a Christmas card uh, with a render from this uh, from DAS Studio without any post work required whatsoever. And you can see we colored the, f the face of these letters in red and the edges are green. And of course down there on the 2015 we just made it all white because it kind of matched the, uh, the scene. So you can build your own custom scenes and make your own Christmas card covers, or any kind of greeting card cover for that matter, uh, using DAS Studio and the Phrase Maker set. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this video presentation, and we hope that uh, you learn a little bit about Phrase Maker and how to use it in your own scenes. And we hope you do have a Merry Christmas this year, and thank you very much.